Hi guys, uh, thanks again for joining my channel and uh, checking out what I'm doing here at the pond. And I wanna talk a little bit today about evaporation. Uh, evaporation's been happening to my pond, I mean, on a daily basis. I mean, if you're running a waterfall, depending on how tall your waterfall is, and also, you know, the heat's got a lot to do with it. So I think I'm losing probably a couple of inches every couple of days. Uh, so I have a lot of plants in the pond that are actually thriving and doing very well. Uh, some of the water plants are doing the lily pads and, and definitely these water hyacinths are just killing me. So I'm going to have to get rid of them or figure out, you know, what to do with them. So, but yeah, I mean, I'm losing probably at least a few inches every couple of days having to fill the pond up. I've got a pretty good sized waterfall, not a giant one, but it's a pretty good gradual waterfall. And, um, you know, I just, I have an auto fill on my pond. So, uh, but sometimes the float doesn't work that great. So um, I have to come out here manually, kind of turn the, the water on. So, but it's happening in my pool too. I mean, my pools, I mean, I'm having to, to fill the pool up as well. So, I mean, you know, um, I wouldn't freak out just yet. I mean, I just kind of wait till the winter time and see what happens. But even during the winter time, you're gonna lose a little bit of uh, water. I mean, it just, what pond, the cycle the ponds go through. You know, you might have to keep adding water if you don't have a, if you don't have an autofill. So, um, just keep an eye on it. And I think uh, uh, if you had some pretty good pond installers where they put the liner down and all that kind of good stuff, then you should be just perfectly fine. Um, that liner is about six mil thick. Yeah, I think they call it an EPDM liner. It's a really thick liner. Uh, and a lot of times they'll put like a little uh, protective uh, sheet underneath the liner itself. And then they'll put the liner on top of that. And then they'll start putting their rocks in and all that kind of good stuff. So if you had that done that way, um, chances are you, you don't have any holes in your pond. I would just kind of like sit tight and wait till the winter time and see what happens. But you're still going to lose a little bit of water during the winter time, but just not as much. I mean, the temperatures here in California have been well over 100 degrees almost every single day. Um, we're looking at probably, you know, 105 to 103. Uh, it's done a really big number on my plants. I mean, I'm telling you, I mean, um, I'm going to have to get out here and increase the water intake on some of these plants. I can tell it's really taking a toll. So, um, but I'd like to walk you through and, and show you what's happening with the plants and um, let you see the fish, what, how they're reacting and stuff like that and uh, show you the water hyacinths. I've been talking a lot about the water hyacinths lately because this is like the year for them, I'm telling you. I'm, every single time at this time of the year, these things just take over. So uh, as I was telling you in some of the previous videos I've had, uh, during the winter time, your water hyacinths are gonna, they're gonna fall back and uh, you just put them in some water. I mean, if, you, if you live in an area where you have a lot of winter, uh, bring them inside, maybe put them in some water uh, in a nice uh, warm area, like in the garage or something. Uh, or in the house somewhere even uh, or if you have like a green green uh greenhouse or something like that just want to keep them where they don't get frozen first so um but anyways let's walk around a little bit um we're going to check out the sump i can, can i can kind of hear some gurgling over there i think some uh, water hyacinths got stuck in there um and you know it's funny because i come out of the pond and i hear this like gurgling and sucking sound in the in the in the pump and i know immediately i got to add water so that's what i usually do so don't panic if you start hearing your pumps, you don't want to let your pumps go dry too long. Um, so um, as long as there's water running through them, they should be fine. Um, but you know you don't want uh, you don't want your your pumps to go completely dry, uh, and it'll burn the pumps out. So you don't want to do that. So just pay attention to the pond, enjoy it. Uh, you know, and don't panic if your uh, if your uh, water evaporation is happening. It's happened to everybody right now that's got a pond. So yeah, so let's check out um, some of the plants. I'll walk you through and you can see some of the stress uh, that's been happening since uh, this heat waves has been hitting us. So, um, all right, we'll check it out. See what you think. Okay, so, so far we're gonna walk through and I had planted these uh, plants before. These are really, really nice and look how crispy these are. <laughs> and um, these looks like look like they are Miner's Merlot. Uh, euphorbia which they were pretty nice but now they're pretty crispy as you can tell uh, the heat waves really done a number on some of these plants um, we'll go up top there and check you can see they don't look real green they kind of look all brownish and stuff and you can see like this one's pretty stressed and you can kind of see look how <laughs> look how thick the uh, these uh, water hyacinths are it's just really thick. It's almost like not even letting the water get through there, see? 
So why is it? Well, these, I guess, I guess these plants are in water, I guess, but that's probably why they're doing so well. You see how thick they are right in here. And I'm gonna have to thin these out, you see. Yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy. You can see how thick these plants are getting. Now you can see I have these row of um, plants here and you can see how they're just really, really getting stressed out, kind of losing some uh, some green here. You can see this one's pretty much almost dead or is dead. And you can see this one's uh, dead too. And these are on their way out. The heat's really, really taking a toll, I tell you. And let's walk over you can see in my sump here at the end here i've got some plants in there you can see how i've got my auto fill right in here you can see it hanging down and uh so we want to remove some of those plants so some water can get through and uh, let's take you up top here take you on a little walk here you can kind of see the pond down in there Okay, these guys are doing okay right here. I think they're a little more heat tolerant, these guys here. But you can see the top of my waterfall, how some of these plants have gotten just cooked. You can see the geranium right there. It's pretty cooked. Some of these lily of Niles here, they're really, really cooked. I'm really happy that my pride of Madeira, which is right here, is doing really, really well. But for California, that's uh, pretty much, I believe, a native plant. Uh, could be wrong about that. If anybody knows, um, please let me know. You can see I've got a cooked plant here too as well. <laughs> Here's another uh, lily that's kind of not doing so well. These canna, Lilies are real nice. Uh, I like to set these in containers because they spread like crazy. So these guys are just spreading. They're just sitting in containers in the water and they're doing pretty well. So you can't really see the containers because they kind of kind of overgrown there. So I'm gonna take you down over where where my grapes are at, and even the grapes have gotten really. You see. Some overgrowth here but the grapes have really really suffered this winter so you can see here my grapes they're kind of turning brown a little bit you can kind of see them in here they really got heat stressed you can see some of the grapes on them right in here and some of the red grapes and they just kind of see down here through the arbor. Some of these leaves just not really did very well. You can see some of the grapes up here. And uh, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> this heat wave really did a number. Walk up here, let's take some of these Let's remove some of these uh, these um, water hyacinths. Let's get them out of here and see if we can. Okay. All right, Mr. Fishies. I think we're just gonna walk these. Make it easy. Pull this out. There we go. Water rushes back in, but you can see all the plants in here. And uh, let's go ahead and dump these out. This will okay. Look at all that gunk. All right, what that's gonna do? It's gonna clog you up. 
so we want to make sure you clear all that crap out of there. Okay. All right, so we have, we have my uh, sump here and we're gonna turn the water on just so you can see what it looks like. And when this actual thing drains down, hits down, starts to fill, okay? See that? Oops. <laughs> starts to fill. All right, so I would suggest if you have an autofill, keep it on, especially in the extreme heat like this. And we're gonna put our basket back. Oops. All right, and as you can see, we got the basket back in there. And we're actually filling because the pond's low right now. And I wanna show you how low the pond actually is right now. You see right there where the watermark is, the white part of the rock? That's how low it is. So we've lost a couple inches. Let me walk you around to the other side here. Okay. Okay, find a good spot to show you guys. Can you see right there on the edge of the rock how low it is on that side too as well okay all right so we got our basket clean and we got our water filling and we're good so now we're gonna wait till that fills up a little bit before we shut it off and uh, we'll take those plants we took out of the, the sump there and uh, or the basket and we'll put it back in the pond somewhere to recycle them. They're still good plants. And um, put the lid back on and wait another three or four days and we'll have to come back out and fill her up again. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the way it goes. Anyways, um, if there's anybody out there that has a pond and they're kind of wondering about, you know, why they're losing so much water and all that kind of stuff, you know, don't freak out. Just basically enjoy the pond, enjoy your fish, enjoy the setting, and uh, just become you know at peace with it, you know. And if you got to add water, add water, big deal. Um, so uh, if you have different methods or different ways of adding water, that's great. Uh, I get the rainy seasons here too; it fills the pond up. And um, I think you know the biggest thing about ponds is is uh, for me, anyways, is I'm more about natural. I like natural ponds the way they look. I like to add the plants and all that kind of good stuff. So why my my pond looks kind of overgrown i gotta buy a new net um i've talked about that in previous uh, uh videos uh we're still trying to figure out how to work the net out i still gotta do some um painting on these uh, pillars uh to kind of blend them in with the environment a little bit um not quite used to them just yet but um it's getting there you know getting there right so okay so you know what uh pond maintenance you know when it's uh springtime when algae's coming you see some algae coming uh, start to treat your pond a little bit with some algae fix. Uh, if, you, if you get a really bad case of algae, you know, get the algae fix and treat it. Um, you know, every three days, give it its dose, right? And um, you should start seeing uh, some improvement on the algae. Um, but algae is a part of the growth process. It's, it's not something you have to worry about, you know. So I have algae in my pond, obviously. I've got sludge in my pond for over the, all the decaying leaves and all that kind of stuff throughout the years. But I believe it adds uh, something to the pond. It adds some special nutrients that the fish need, uh, keeps them healthy and all that kind of good stuff. And, um, you know, just make sure you clean your baskets out and uh, you're all good. All right, so we'll see you guys on the next show. Hope this information helps. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like me putting these videos out. And uh, I just haven't done many videos lately because it's been super hot and now it's like almost eight o'clock at night. So, and I'm still wearing my glasses. So that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys on my next show or my next video. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.